All right, Killing Floor 2, the game that keeps on giving. They're going to have a winter beta on PC, and then it's going to be released on PC and consoles. It's going to be a Christmas winter update. And what they're going to have is, of course, a event that will be going on and a new map from the community, Crash. And then they're going to have a perk roulette for one new weekly mode. And then they're going to have four new weapons. So the HRG Ballistic Bouncer for the support. This one is not a paid weapon. So you can check it out right there. Alternate version of the Mine Reconstructor for the support perk. A tier three weapon. Rubberized ballistic gel that bludgeons Zeds on impact and bounces rapidly around the environment with high knockdown power. Then you got the HRG medic missile for the field medic. Alternate version of the RPG-7 for the field medic perk or a tier 4 rocket launcher. Projectile creates a healing gas explosion on impact. So that'd be great for the boss. You shoot the RPG, damage the boss, and also can heal your teammates. And that's going to be 1600 dosh for that and 900 dosh for that uh, ballistic bouncer. Now we get into the good stuff. The Zed Eradication Device. So this one's a paid weapon. I'm going to definitely buy it. Um, a tier 5 heavy weapon. Continuous stream of energy rounds while launching swarm auto target rockets at set intervals during automatic fire. How cool does that sound? Uh, 2,000 dosh for that. So that sounds really good. Looks really good. And sounds really good. So shooting energy rounds and then also swarm of rockets will every so often shoot out. That's cool. Then the second paid weapon, HV Storm Cannon for the sharpshooter. Uh, paid weapon, tier 4 rifle, shoots a charge electric shot, headshots, spread electro lightning to other nearby Zeds in domino fashion. Sounds good. 1400 dots for that. So, sharpshooter, getting a new weapon, paid weapon. Um, demolitionist, getting a paid weapon. The medic, getting a weapon that's not paid. And then the support, getting a weapon that's not paid. So I look forward to getting the two paid weapons because those are going to be really powerful. So then they got other information about um, balances, patches, changes. You know, you can look that over. I'll put the link to this website in the description. But this game just keeps on giving. Came out in 2016. In this game, from then to today, continues to give new maps, new weapons, new skins, new accessories, new events. Always does something for Christmas. Always does something for Halloween. Um, and other times throughout the year also. And this is not like some huge billion dollar company. It's very impressive the way they continue to pump out content. So I look forward to it. Polar distress. All right. Should be coming to everyone sometime in December. And yeah, I'll be playing it. So, all right, cool. Cool.